I'm Captain Bruce. This is Pam. You're watching 30 Miles Out. Welcome to 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. Miles Out is presented by Unfair Lures, designed to the gills, and by Mariner Sales, Wind and Paddle Sports. Welcome to Copano Bay. Copano Bay is a spot that sits behind Rockport that I've had a lot of luck in. It's kind of one of my go-to spots for this area. We've had a lot of rain and a lot of fresh water runoff. I didn't really know what that would mean until this day. So we had just left the boat launch in Copano Bay. It narrows down to a funnel type area. So I was telling everybody, hey, let's bump some shrimp on bottom with a jig head to see if we can hang some trout or drum. No sooner than I did that, and wham, felt like I hung a log. I just hung something, y'all, and it is massive. It's got shoulders, it's pulling me out to sea. Oh, I can't stop it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh. It's going toward the dock now. It's going toward the dock. I gotta put the camera down. At this point, I'm thinking big black drum. Holy mackerel, this is a huge fish, y'all. Huge fish. People, I just don't know. I'm just going for a ride. It feels like I'm strapped to a donkey. Jeez. Holy mackerel, dude. It's a monster garfish. Man, he's at least half the length of the kayak. He's foul hooked. You can see it in that way rear dorsal fin. So I don't know who's more tired, me or him. There he is. Hooked in the tail. Holy mackerel. I've got this guy on a speckled trout rod. You can see this was gonna be a battle. All right, he's been fighting me for a good while. I got him away from the docks. He got me all bowed up. But we're in the bay. I'm just putting a torque on him. He's big, guys, he's big. Okay, so it's a monster guard. We saw it come up in Gulf Air. It's gotta be four or five foot long. I don't know what you Oh my goodness, and he's just sitting on bottom. He go up there and he's sitting on bottom. Half hour into the battle. Little did I know at this point, this battle is going to go on and on for a long time. All right, we got Tanner on the rod. I got too tired. Are you hooked up to a donkey, Tanner? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a Cajun tarpon. <laughs> He's taking us out to sea. I don't know, maybe seven foot? here. How much you think it weighs? <laughs> we had to swap off and fight an hour at a time. At this point we were an hour into the battle and the wind was picking up. I tried to put a tail rope on him and it kept slipping off. I don't know what we're gonna do. Who knows what was gonna happen out here at Copano Bay on a 200 pound garfish. So after a long two hour battle, we finally got a rope around his midsection and we were going to drag him back in and make kind of a catamaran thing, but with the wind building to about 20-25 miles an hour, this was not working out well and we were drifting further and further out into Copano Bay. There he is guys, we're trying to paddle back against a 20 mile an hour wind. We got him lifted up, but I don't know if it's going to happen. How long is he? About seven foot. Six foot, I don't know. He's a monster. We're trying to get him back desperately. Gonna give it five minutes, see if we can get him back to this wall. We had tried a hundred ways to get this fish back to shore. I was losing hope. I see a bay boat flying by, I waved him down. It was one of my neighbors, Captain Bruce. All right, we got Mr. Bruce helping us out. Mom down. That's me. Hey, I'll make sure we that bar, man, with the Oh, yeah. 
Just as it started getting really bad and we were really far from shore, Captain Bruce came by, offered his assistance, and I took him up on it. I'd like to thank Captain Bruce for helping us out and for bringing us back in. Check that out. I could have done it without these two boys. I'd have been, I'd have been in Bayside. And there's me. Tanner and Dalton stayed out there and helped me fight that fish for two hours in driving wind. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have got it in. So she measured out at 5'9", somewhere between 150 and 200 pounds. Really wanted to revive her and let her go. She didn't make it, but a guy at the launch took her home. I'm telling you, watch 30 miles out. This is a big old golf fish. What? One minute you're jigging for speckled trout, the next minute you're fighting an epic battle. We had, had a lot of rain, so I guess the guard decided to move in. But that's one cool thing about saltwater. You never know what you're gonna hang. I don't think these boys are gonna forget that day anytime soon. I know I won't. That was an epic day. Some great people. We'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Hey, what nation, it's time to get geared up. Show your What Nation pride. Head on over to 30milesout.com. 30 Miles Out gear is a great gift for your kayak fishermen. If you're part of the What Nation and you want to represent, head on over to 30milesout.com.